So you feel like playing an assassin and you've seen all of the Hayabusa pros on live streams and on YouTube and on MSC where they just jump around all over the place and they get all the kills. And now you're thinking, well, Hayabusa seems to be pretty OP, should I buy him? Well, great for you that you found this video because in this video we're gonna go through everything you need to know about Hayabusa before you buy him. So yeah guys, sit back, relax and enjoy. Hayabusa, the shadow of Iga, is one of the strongest assassins in the game as of the moment of this video. And in my opinion, he's one of the funniest heroes to play as well. And just like every other hero, Hayabusa has three different abilities and a passive ability. His passive is called Ninjutsu, Shadow Heal. And after dealing damage to the same enemy four times, Hayabusa will restore his HP and the lower his HP is, the more he will restore. Keep in mind though, this can only be triggered once every 3 seconds. His first ability is called Phantom Shuriken, and basically this ability throws 3 different shurikens in a cone-shaped area, with each shuriken dealing 250 physical damage and also causing a 60% reduction in movement speed. It will also increase your damage towards the enemy by 200%, and if all of the three shurikens hits the same enemy, you will regain 20% of mana spent. His second ability is called Quad Shadow, and this ability releases four shadows, all of them in different directions, and if a shadow hits an enemy, it will deal 120 physical damage, and also cause a 60% reduction in movement speed and stick to the enemy, making it possible for you to jump to the enemy and deal another 120 physical damage. Hayabusa's ultimate is called Ugi, Shadow Kill. And when using this ability, Hayabusa transforms into a shadow and dashes around the battlefield dealing 130 damage to each enemy hit by the ability. Hitting the same enemy more than once will trigger a 5% increase in damage per hit, making this ability very fearsome in 1v1 battle. These are Hayabusa's attributes. If you want to compare them with other heroes, you can pause this video, look at the attributes and compare it to other heroes in the game. So that's it for the abilities and the attributes of Hayabusa guys, and we're now gonna go into some basic combos which you can do, and also some pros and cons, and I'm by no means a pro at this game, I'm, I'm not like on the top leaderboard or anything, but if you wanna check out a really good player, I would suggest you guys to go into Melvin TNG's channel, his link in the, is in the description below, and he's an amazing live streamer guys, he streams for so freaking long, almost every single day, and he's just insane. He's currently Glorious Legend with almost 900 stars right now and he's he's an amazing streamer. I just love that dude so much. So I would really appreciate it if you guys go to his channel, subscribe and watch his live streams because they are freaking amazing. But anyways guys, we're now gonna go into some basic combos which you can use with Hayabusa. Okay guys, so there's basically two different combos that you're gonna want to use with Hayabusa. The first one is the combo that I use the most, and I don't really know why, I just feel like it's a good combo. So, basically what I do is, you want to try and hit a enemy with your shadows so you can lock in on them. Use your shadows to jump there, use the shuriken, use the ult. Try and use the shuriken again before you jump away and then jump away. You will deal a lot of damage this way, but this is the other combo. Use your shurikens first, you use your shadows to jump in, use your ult, use your shurikens again and then try to jump out. Here's the problem though guys. Sometimes the controls are a bit hard or a bit weird, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I'm supposed to jump, but it doesn't really jump. It doesn't work sometimes. So, I don't know, the controls have kind of a learning curve to it. Once you master it though, you're gonna clear everything. You're never gonna die with Hayabusa unless you get like ambushed 1v5 and you don't have your abilities, then you're pretty dead. But otherwise you're not gonna die with Hayabusa, he's really insane, guys. And now on to some pros and cons, the first con being that of the controls, that they are a bit hard to learn. Sometimes they can be a bit wonky. As, uh, as we can see here, I had a lot of time left on my second ability, but it didn't jump for some reason. I, I don't know if it's on if it's my mistake or if it's just some kind of lag with the game. I honestly I don't know. But 
that's one negative thing that I have to say about Hayabusa that I've noticed on several different devices and on several different kind of networks, both on Wi-Fi and on mobile data. So, I don't know, that's one con. Another con is that he's really, really mana dependent. You're gonna wanna have the blue buff as often as possible to be able to use your combos to the fullest. And if you don't have the blue buff, what you're gonna wanna try and do is get the elegant gem, which is this one, I yeah, this one. Because it restores your mana every time you level. And you're also gonna wanna try and hit only one hero with all of the three shurikens at once, since you restore 20% of your lost mana then as well. So, if you don't have the blue buff, get the elegant gem, try and hit one hero with all of your shurikens, and you should be pretty good to go, although you can't really be as aggressive if you don't have the blue buff. Other than that, there's no real cons to this hero, as far as I'm concerned at least. Uh, if you have anything that you feel is bad with this hero, then please tell me in the comments, because I can't really find anything more bad with him. So, some really good pros then. When using your ult, you're invincible, both to damage and uh, you can't be crowd controlled, which is pretty insane. So as you can see here, I jumped in, I got stunned, but I can use my first or my ultimate and get away without a scratch, okay? It's pretty insane how good this hero is when you think about it. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really anything bad about him, so I guess everything else is a pro, right? Yeah guys, but that's basically it. One thing to keep in mind though, in a future patch he will be able to be crowd controlled during his ult, as far as I've understood the patch notes. So you're probably gonna wanna go with Purify as a battle spell in the future. Right now you can go with uh, basically whatever you want. I go with Retribution just to kill jungle mobs a bit quicker and to make sure that I can get that blue buff which I really really need as Hayabusa. But um... Yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys informed that he will be able to be crowd controlled in the future, so if you're gonna get him now, make sure to keep that in mind, okay? But that's it for this video, guys. I really, really hope you liked this, and if you decided to buy Hayabusa, then please tell me in the comments below, and if you didn't decide to buy him, then tell me why you didn't buy him, because I really, really want to know that as well. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.